Welcome back. Our next guest grew up in Pittsburgh, but now calls California home. She's working there as a top movie producer, and her latest project drops today. Yeah, it is a heartwarming comedy called Feel the Beat. It's about a dancer having trouble making it on Broadway, so she reluctantly returns to her small hometown after a devastating mishap. Here's a clip. This is a matter of life and death. I've got a major audition. Go! Oh. Again, two, three, four, in five. Ladies, Ruth Simmer would like to take a look at you. Your career is over. Uh, Miss Simmer, if, he's, if you let just let go of me. Please, let go. me explain. Please. Please. How many people have watched this? Like a couple hundred? Oh, more like 30,000. <laughs> but who's counting? <laughs> well, that's the new Netflix film that drops today about what happens next to the star April when she returns to her hometown and Wisconsin. And the film's producer, Susan Cartsonas, who spent her childhood in Squirrel Hill, joins us live from her new home these days in California. Susan, thank you so much for joining us. This clip alone, it looks like a riot. It looks like a great film. <laughs> thank you so much. We had so much fun making it. I like to call it the bad news bears of dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us the premise of it. I mean, we sort of outline, you know, she's trying to make it on Broadway. She apparently pushes someone off the stage <laughs> and then has to go back home. Uh, but w what what is it about? Well, she doesn't exactly push her, but you'll see, okay. when you see the movie. It's a mistake. Uh, it's, a, it's an accident. Accidents do happen. Well, April Debrina, played by Sophia Carson, you might know from The Descendants, trilogy. She's a brilliant young actress, singer, dancer, multi-talented. April Debrina is a driven Broadway dancer and a, an accident calls somebody very important and she basically has to go back to Wisconsin to stay with her dad until this blows over, if it ever blows over. She runs into her old beau who she unceremoniously dumped and she's roped into training this ragtag group of young girls who cannot dance to save their lives and <laughs> leads them into self-confidence and victory, but not without a lot of bumps along the way and a lot of competition. Ah. Well, Susan, <laughs> how was it shooting this, this film? It seems like it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. When you make a musical, um, you have to go through weeks and weeks of dance training prior to the actual shooting. So. It's, um, it's, it's a little different from a regular movie where you're just rehearsing the lines. You have to rehearse the dances too. But thankfully we had an amazing choreographer, Mia Michaels, who did a brilliant job of creating dances for the girls as they go from bad to good. And, and the kids themselves are such amazing people as well as actors. We're excited to watch it. And, you know, we want to ask you, too, about growing up in Squirrel Hill. We're always so proud when Pittsburghers make it big and, and what you're doing is great. And, and talk to us about just your memories of Pittsburgh. I will always be a Pittsburgher in my heart. And when you started talking about the Giant Eagle supermarket, I lived at 5710 B Beacon Street in Squirrel Hill. Mm -hmm. And the big moment for me when I was around seven or six or seven was that I could cross Murray Avenue and go to the uh, Giant Eagle, uh, not Big Eagle, Giant Eagle, and, <laughs> and pick up a loaf of bread for my for my parents. And I remember that was like a huge adventure, a huge benchmark in my life. Um, I just remember the people and um, the how beautiful it was. And um, I, I I always think about the if we had stayed where I would have gone to high school, which I think are the same high schools that the same schools that Mikey went to. So uh, <laughs> yeah, we moved to Arizona. My father was a city planner, and he planned a small town in Arizona after that. But Pittsburgh ha was always in my heart and always has been. I I hope someday I can come back and make a movie in Pittsburgh. Yeah, and Susan, in your heart is really making films for female audiences. That is true. Um, making movies that are inclusive and inclusive of the female audience because women buy over half movie tickets and choose what we stream for families and on date night. 
probably influence about 75% of what people watch. We only make about 20% of movies with female protagonists specifically for the female audience. So we're uh, an underserved audience. And if you see it, you can be it. It's important for women to see themselves in interesting multidimensional roles. And it's also important that that our movies be inclusive and diverse. And we've done that in Feel the Beat. We have a deaf character. Our, our girls have all different body sizes. They, 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 are, they come from different cultures and races. And it's, it's a really fun, inclusive story. Well, we can't wait to see it. We appreciate talking with you. And we really applaud what you're doing. Thank you so much, Susan. Thank you so Thank much you, for having me. Good yeah, morning. You're, you're a lot of fun. <laughs> and again, <laughs> the, Feel the Beat is the movie, and it is now on Netflix starting today. And if you want to see more of the trailer, look for that on our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com. We posted it for you right there. I can't wait to see it. <laughs>